All right, good morning. Uh, wanted to share this one as a, a much quicker quicker video and some reflection pieces from training on on Tuesday where we looked at you know obviously looking to that attack to finish concepts. So I want to remind us here is in the attack phase we're always about exploiting space and exploiting slash also recognizing. So we want the principle being consistent assist selection. So we have, we talk about two things. We have the open box, which is can we make that early early bent service that allows our attacking players to run straight onto the ball to a finish. The focus is on hitting service into space versus more trying to hit hit a teammate. So it's less about accuracy towards a teammate. It's about bending the ball into that space. And the other option that we work a lot more on is the closed box. So can we get in line with a cutback cross that hits that space between the penalty spot and the top of the six? So again, this is not a cross. This is a pass. So we're trying to hit our teammates' feet so that we can then make that connection inside the box. So again, we have the open box. So recognition of is the box open? or is the box closed? And as you can see in the images, it's based on the defenders. So open box, defenders racing back towards their goal, facing their goal, boom, that space is there to play. Closed box, the defenders have been drugged down into their six and around their goal, so that means the space is in front. So instead of whipping a ball in behind, the space is cut back into front of the defenders for a finish. So we have a couple clips that Mandy put together from, from training. So these are all focused on the open box. So we'll let them run. You can see opportunities, obviously quality of cross. Some decent link up play to make this happen. But again, look at what does the box say? What are the cues? We'll go back to the beginning. I think the, the important piece as we start this again is, one, we didn't produce a clear chance from any of these opportunities. So the quality of the service or the decision wasn't there or the commitment to numbers wasn't there. So as you watch again, the important piece of this is as soon as this ball is made, Sid has to have her head up and looking at what the space is. I think she saw it. Obviously, there's technical breakdowns that happen. But if our goal is to whip it more on the ground, that becomes an easier one for us to to finish. Same thing as Tally's running on to us, examine it. Now, Adele is committed. Can we get another ball? And it's just a ball put into that. All three center backs from the white team were racing back towards their goal. Same thing. It's a good little combination. We play in. As soon as this ball's here, Maya has her head up and looking. If we don't have the numbers of the people, then we can drive and try to get to a, a closed box situation. But in those cases, we have a chance for an early bent ball into the run. And again, one, a couple of things that it does for us. Two, it is early and it's quick. It's tougher for them to organize. Three, or the second piece is that the defenders are running back towards their goal. So even if they get a touch, their deflection, their clearance is heading back towards their own goal, which again gives us set pieces or creates own goals or creates a mess, which we know Gustavus struggles with in the box. So again, watch this. Look at the, this one is obviously focused on the clip version on open box. Head up, look early, bend the ball in, and let's run on and finish.